Welcome to ILTV's Evening Update. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with the latest news from Israel. An El Al flight from New York has safely landed in Israel after American authorities received threats of a possible explosive on board. Switzerland and France scrambled together military jets this afternoon to accompany the El Al flight as it passed through their airspace. American officials allegedly received an anonymous call saying a bomb had been smuggled aboard the El Al plane and stashed in the kitchen. The threat turned out to be a hoax according to El Al officials and families who were informed of developments were on hand at the Israeli airport to receive the passengers. Earlier today, an oil pipe in the Haifa Bay was hit by a ship causing an oil leak and leading authorities to close two beaches. The incident took place during an ongoing effort to replace underwater oil pipes from the 1930s. Fortunately, it's a minor spill and with cleanup efforts underway, beachgoers will be able to return to the sea and sand by tomorrow. If a referendum were held today on Israeli withdrawal from the West Bank, 52% of Israelis would vote against it. This month's poll of Israeli public opinion shows that 36% of Israeli Jews support a withdrawal in principle, compared to 69% of Arab Israelis supporting withdrawal today. But given a peace agreement between the Israeli government and the Palestinian Authority, the answer shifts in favor of withdrawal. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.